Hey there, Maniacs and viewers. You're watching the Mighty Man channel. It's not just the name, it's the way of life. You got to improvise, adapt, and overcome each and every day just to make it in this cruel old world. So, all that being said, please make sure you check me out on Parler, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, OogeTube, GunStreamer, GunTube, Gab. Uh, if y'all feel called to, check me out on Patreon. I can always use the support and help there. Keep bringing good gun content and good two way content towards you. And uh, just a reminder, folks, I don't always get to uh, put all the uh, videos out that I want to. Uh, I mean, if I had more time, I would. But every time one of those gun, or gun rights organizations has one of those mass email chains that, uh, you know, you can get on a sign to support something to do with the Second Amendment, I post it on my Facebook page, the main man channel, Facebook page. And uh, if I don't get to talk to y'all about that, as soon as I sign one of them, I'm going to start posting them. I've already started, but uh, as soon as I sign one of them, they'll be posted to the uh, main man channel. That way you can just go over to the main man channel, jump on that chain email, and send it off. That way it goes to your reps after you fill out your information and everything. That way we can keep fighting for the Second Amendment because it's under attack right now. All right, now, anyways, let's get to the topic of today's video. The topic of today's video is... This is going to be our actual live fire test of our budget plate, a budget armor plate that's going to stop a 9mm. Well, so this is part three on the video. Hopefully it'll stop a 9mm. So what we got, we got just the basic. Uh, Magtech, 9mm Luger, 115 grade, full metal jacket. Okay, so pretty much. I mean, you don't know what you're going to ever get shot with, but I'm going to figure if, a, you know, a lot of people's going to have plenty of the cheap stuff, especially these days. That being said, you know, uh, military, they use ball ammo. They use 9mm or 115 grade full metal jackets, some basic range ammo anyway. So, I figure it's pretty pertinent of a test with that type of ammo. So, here we go. Let's do it. All right. Uh, I've got the close-up camera set up down range. As soon as we get that done, we'll get that started. And right now, she's clear. But we will be using the Remington RP9 uh, 9mm. So, this Remington RP9 has a 4.5-inch barrel. That being said, that's a good long, kind of considered uh, full size, maybe even a match grade size barrel. So it's going to get a lot of good twist and a, a lot of good, uh, it's going to get a lot of good speed out of that barrel. So it's going to hit that armor pretty hard for a 9 millimeter, you know. So bear with me. I hope it stops this. I really do. I worked hard on that armor and, uh, it was fun making it, and I really wanted to stop a 9mm. If it stops one single 9mm, I have succeeded in my opinion. So here we go. Okay, Maniacs and viewers. We have got the uh, close-up cam set up. We have got our Remington RP9. We are hot. Make a good shot on it. See what we can do. All right, let's see if it stops. 115 grain full metal jack. Here we go. All right, I gotta see if I got a good hit on it. See where it hit. I think I was aiming in a good spot, but we gotta double check. Good hit on it. Yeah, but right here. Did it make it through? Folks, it stopped. It did not make it through. The 9 
What do you know? The nine millimeter didn't make it through. All right. Now, if the nine millimeter didn't make it through, I seriously doubt 22 LR will. But what we got is, we got my Glock 44, chambered in 22 LR, loaded with CCI Mini Max. That being said, we're just going to test one of those out and see if it puts a hole in it. If the nine it stopped the nine millimeter, this shouldn't, but who knows? These are the 36 grain, like 1260 feet per second, uh, copper plated or copper hollow point uh, mini max, CCI mini max. So here we go. We're going to do that one, and we're going to see if it goes through. Okay, folks, CCI mini mag, copper plated hollow point, 36 grainer. Out of the Glock 44, let's hopefully get a good hit on it, see what we got. Alright, let's go down there and check and see if we got a good hit. Okay, folks, just for shits and giggles, we're going to go ahead and try a little bit harder 9mm. What I'm going to try is my uh, Minuteman 9mm, 115 grain, plus P, jacketed hollow point. And we're going to see if that goes through it. So let's just try that since I got some out here. Let's just give her a try. Okay, folks, Remington RP9, 4.5 inch barrel, 9 millimeter Luger, Minute Man ammo, 115 grain, uh, jacketed hollow point, plus P. Here we go. A hotter 9 millimeter. All right, we got a pretty good dead center shot on that. And that was quite a bit harder, okay? Now, even if that did go through, it has still done its job, in my opinion, because it stopped one 90 millimeter full metal jacket. But now that plus P one, it really knocked that thing over. It really rocked that thing's world. So we're gonna go down there and see what it did. All right, we got Okay, folks, we got to step her up a little bit. So I had to go in there, borrow Carl's carry gun, the Remington R1, 1911, chambered in the good Lord's caliber, 45 ACP with the Second Amendment grips on there. And since every time I get this thing out, I have to read it. A well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. That means for any and everybody that's an American. No matter what, all gun laws are infringements. But anyway, so 
we have got some blazer brass 230 grain uh, full metal jacket ball ammo just plain regular good lord's caliber and we are going to see if it stops i got a few of them in here hopefully i can hit on the first try the hard hitting fat and slow 45 acp here we go okay I'm a little bit worried about that shot because I shot kind of towards the middle, but I shot right up above or right beside where I shot that hot 9mm a while ago. So we're going to have to check that out. Well, folks, sorry. I forgot to turn the camera on for the 45 shot. But you can see it knocked it over. Let's pick this thing up. There are no holes. But I do feel a big bulge on the back. Okay? Now, that 45 shot right beside where that 9 millimeter, 115 grain, or the uh, hollow point, the plus P from Freedom Man Mission, that uh, 45 ACP, 230 grain, shot right beside that. So, it went pretty far since it was compromised right there quite a bit. And the blade is now starting to feel compromised. But still, even though it shot in that compromising area, it didn't make it all the way through, even though it bulged back here. Now, somebody would have been hurting back here, because that's where that bulge is. But it wouldn't have killed him. So, that being said, we got to continue. we got to find something else to shoot it with. Folks, it shot right there beside where I shot that hot 9 millimeter one ago. It is what it is. I mean, can get my round, please? Thank you. It is what it is. I don't know what else I can say about that. It bulged the back good. I forgot to turn the close-up footage on. But, even in its compromised condition, it stopped 45. All right, let's go get a 40. Now, some are going to say, well, 45 is more powerful than 40. In some cases, yes. Depending on what you're shooting, a 45 will outdo a, uh, do a, uh, a 40. But we're going to go get a 40 anyway and try it. Okay, folks, this is proven to be a little bit of a challenge, which is a good thing. So, what I had to do was I went in the house and figured it's time to break out a CC. We done shot it with an RP9 twice. We shot it with a 1911 once. We shot it with a Glock once. Uh, might have to shoot it with some more Glocks. I don't know. But I went in there and I got my CC75B40 Smith & Wesson. Beautiful. Old Scotsman are like this. Y'all tag old Scotsman. Tell him about this, all right? All right, so here we go. All right, we got some just basic 180 grain uh, full metal jacket, flat nose. So let's see if that, and she's hot, will penetrate our arm. I should get this on the first shot. This thing's accurate as a bad gum. I don't know what. It's got a good trigger to it. I'm hoping. I got a good shot on that. If not, I got more ammo. But let's go down there and take a look. And once again, I got in a hurry with the 40 like I did the 45 and forgot to turn on my camera. So let's see what we shot with that 40. Oh, I do. All right, so I shot low. I missed the plate. I just hit the 
end of it right there, and then she came out the back right there. Because she hit the edge of the plate. She didn't hit the plate good. She broke the shit out of it before she hit right there. But she didn't go all the way through. Now, she blacked out like crazy because she hit that steel behind it. So, we didn't get a good solid hit on it, so we got to try the 40 again. So, that's going to be a bonus for y'all. Y'all going to get to see it close to us. We hit it right at the bottom of the edge of the plate. It flattened out, went through it. But it's not counted as a as a hit since it's hit it so low, in my opinion. It's got to hit it on the plate part to be counted. So, good news is we get to shoot it with that 40 again. So this time, I got to aim a little higher. Hope for the best. All right. Hopefully. We got to hit that time. Okay. So, if it didn't go through, I don't think. Nope. If it didn't go through, we're going to have to take another shot. Okay, folks, my accuracy with that CZ is just not on today. I don't understand why. It's got a great trigger. We're going to get close. So it's kind of in a compromised area, so we won't clear it yet. We'll put it in a safe direction. We're going to see what we got. Okay, folks, so the 40 didn't go through it either, when the good shot I got on it, even though it hit it in a semi-compromised area. That plate, that definitely that front plate is taking a lot of damage, okay? So that being said, we're going to take and uh, we're going to wrap this video up because uh, lengthwise, we're already going to be way above eight minutes. I like my videos only be about eight, eight and a half minutes. So that being said, we'll make a part four. We'll shoot it with some other calipers. We'll see where it goes from there. So, folks, I just, I'm going to give you a recap rundown right quick. We tried it with a MagTech 115 grain full metal jacket out of the Remington RP9, 4.5 inch barrel. Nope. We tried it with a CCI mini mag out of the Glock 44, 36 grain, copper plated hollow point. Nope. We tried it with a 9 millimeter Luger, 115 grain, jacketed hollow point plus P from Minuteman. Nope. We tried it with a uh, Blazer Brass 230 grain full metal jacket round nose ball ammo, good lord's caliber, 45 ACP out of a Remington R1 1911. Nope. Took us a little while to get a good shot on it. But we tried, it's clear. We tried it with a uh, CC75B 40 Smith & Wesson with a 180 grain federal I believe it is full metal jacket flat nose nope after we got that good shot for sure nope so we have not made it through my budget armor plate yet we'll be interesting to see when we cut it open and see where these have stopped but since we've not made it through on the part we're supposed to make it through on yet we're going to take we're going to wrap this video up we're going to make a part four, and we're definitely going to keep shooting that thing with some some other calipers. I mean, you know, I'm going to try everything I got until we get through there. When we get through there, we'll cut it open. But it did its job. It stopped 9 millimeter, and stopped 45, it stopped 40, and stopped 22 LR. Folks, I'm happy with that armor plate, that budget armor plate. $13. 
stopped all that stuff. Thank y'all for watching, and I'll catch y'all next time.